What's going on y'all? In this video, I wanna show you some troubleshooting tips for missing plugins in Studio One. So on this new iMac, I installed a plugin and Studio One wasn't seeing it. So if you have some plugins that are missing in Studio One, hopefully these tips will help resolve your issue. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that the plugin is installed correctly or in the correct place. So, and I'm working on a Mac, I'm not sure about the path for Windows, but on a Mac, you wanna to go to your hard drive, library, audio, and plugins. So here you'll have your VST2 plugins, your VST3 plugins, and component is your audio unit plugins. So you wanna make sure that the plugin that you installed is showing in, you know, in these folders. Next thing you wanna do is check your locations, which is under preferences and locations and VST plugins. So, so I've got a couple paths. I got a path for my Waves plugins, my VST2 plugins, and uh, my VST3 plugins. Uh, you do not see my audio unit path because I've disabled audio unit plugins. I don't need to see VST and audio unit. So that's why you see just VST here. But make sure you've got this path should match the same path we just went to see if the plugin is installed. And while you're in locations, another thing that you can do here is click this reset the block list. So any plugins that Studio One has blocked, this will reset it and force it to rescan. Just keep this checked, scan and startup, and it should rescan those uh, once Studio One restarts. So you know once you've clicked this, and we can go ahead and click it here, you'll get a message uh, that. Uh, do you want to rescan the block plugins next time you start Studio One? So it'll do a scan then. Okay, if resetting the blacklist still didn't work and you still don't see your plugin, uh, once you open up a session in Studio One, go ahead and open up your browser and make sure, hit this wrench icon and make sure that your plugin is not hidden. So here is. I'm going to use Waves, for example, because I have a lot of Waves plugins hidden. So here's my Waves plugins, and when I click this wrench, it now shows me all of the plugins. So you see I have a lot of them hidden. So make sure that your the plugin that you're looking for is not hidden. And then if that doesn't work, last thing here is under View, and this is what worked for me, under View, Plugin Manager, uh, under here, one, you can search for the plugin under name and see if it shows up here. Uh, but if it still doesn't, you can uh, hit this remove plugin settings and that's gonna force Studio One to do another scan. And this to me is a more thorough scan because I can actually, when I did this, I could read the plugins as it scanned. It takes a second to do, but this is what uh, fixed my problem for me. I was able to see that the plugin was installed in the correct path and all that, but this is the final step I did. I clicked remove plugin settings. It did a slower scan and I did see the plugin that was missing show up in that scan. Uh, traditionally, when Studio One does the plugin scan, it just kind of zips through it in a few seconds. So, after doing that, I was able to get the plugin. So hopefully that works for anyone who has the issue of missing plugins in Studio One. All right, uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time.